As you're probably all aware, the Cavalex models class 56 is in stock. I picked mine up yesterday. Here's my take on them. A bit difficult in three minutes, but here we go. The box is massive. The model is held in a plastic cradle. Also in the box is a 30 page manual on how to operate the model and a small plastic bag containing detailed parts, i.e. the couplings, air pipes, and various other little, little bits and pieces. A variety of liveries are available from first inception in blue through to sectorizations and privatization and even the latest colas liveried ones as well. But why you'd want anything other than a blue liveried one beats me, but everybody to their own. The loco is held in place on the plastic surround by two screws easily removed. A look underneath reveals that the only thing that I can criticise this model on is the body mounted coupling. Everything else is spot on. For the price that this is, the detail is excellent. And that's not just on the outside, because the cooling fans on the top are driven independently. So they have a motor each and they spin at different speeds. Going back to the attention to detail, I've heard some people complaining that the 8 on this particular model is upside down. And it is for a very good reason. On the actual real life engine, that's how it was. For those of us that are DCC, the chip is behind a roof panel that detaches held in place by magnets. A 10 function chip is the one that's recommended, otherwise you won't get full functionality on the lights and the independently running fans. And the lock pilot one that you've just seen on the screen is 37 pounds plus, which means it's almost not worth not having sound. And the sound is very good. Take a listen. The prices are analog 18995, DCC fitted 22745, and sound fitted is £289.95. pence. For those of you that can't afford that budget, I'm sure there's going to be a multitude of second hand Hornby ones on the market very soon. I fall into a different category as I have no wagons that it can legitimately pull. Therefore, I have to create a scene where it's being towed from the docks, where it was delivered from Romania on its way to Doncaster Works. 